welcome back to my channel. Today is a snowy day, of course. What day wouldn't it be snowy if I'm making a video, right? So I have two recipes for you. We're gonna be getting ready, um, a little bit of toy organization. I went grocery shopping. Half of my pantry is on my kitchen table, so definitely need to put that away. So um, the two recipes that I have, they are super easy. First one, dump in a crock pot, add sauce later. Second one, dump it all in a crock pot, mix it up later. It's all good. That's how I like to cook and let's get started. Like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. Such a good toy organizer for little ones. They can just take each individual box off that they wanna play with each toy, but eventually it gets all mixed up and it needs to be sorted out. But I think it looks pretty good once it actually does get done. And now I'm just doing my makeup routine. Uh, my typical foundation and bronzer and uh, my eyebrows. Today I'm going to be using some blush just to kind of brighten up my cheeks a little bit. So the first color that we are using is the shade Limit and putting that in the crease of my eyelids. I do have hooded eyelids. Um, so this just helps a little bit. And then going in with the shade Strange for the top of my eyelid. And then what I like to do is use the color, um, the shade Factory, just at the edges of my eyelashes on the outer corners and on the bottom as well. get started on this kitchen I don't know how it becomes a mess but you know this is real life and this is what happens so let's get it all done Yes, we have two coffee pots. I only drink decaf and my husband drinks regular and he'll usually have a couple cups of coffee throughout the day or in the morning um, and I usually only have one cup. I know a Keurig would probably solve all these problems, especially counter space, but um, there's nothing wrong with these two pots. So I, uh, I haven't made this switch yet. Do you guys use two coffee pots or did you make the switch already? Please. Wow. <laughs> so for our first recipe is a buffalo chicken dip. So I have prepped chicken and we will be using one block of cream cheese, one cup of cheddar, one cup of ranch, and a whole bottle of buffalo sauce. I want to let you know that I ended up adding more than the original recipe in this clip. It shows only a half a cup of ranch and one cup of sauce but I ended up adding more throughout the day. But either one will taste fine, it just suited our taste better, adding a little bit more. But if you try either one, please let me know because this is one of our go-to recipes for a buffalo chicken dip and we love it, so let me know how you liked it. Next is this super easy, just put it all together, sausage, two bell peppers, two small onions, throw it in the crock pot, put the lid on it, Put it on high for four hours and I'll show you what's next in a little bit. Of course. 
course, because of the snowstorm and Super Bowl Sunday, um, I had to go to two grocery stores because my first one, half my order was out of stock. So I was so tired by the time I got home, I just threw half my pantry on the table. But we're just getting it all clean now. Put it away. So after four hours, I chopped up all the sausage, added a jar of sauce, mixed it all together, and then I put it on low for about an hour or two. I set it out and served it with some mozzarella cheese and some hot dog buns.